Hi, we've been told at the moment that uh, things are scarce and the economy is going to crash and prices of food, the energy, your electric, gas, water, your rent, all your bills, taxes are going up. Um, we've been told all sorts of um, lies why that is. It's because of the war in Ukraine. It's because of shortages of delivery. It's because the shortage of food and shortage of gas and oil and all sorts of mixed up um, lies around the world and in life when really there is not such a thing there is no lack in the universe and the world we are not shortage of anything literally anything we've got all the resources we need we've got all the food the water We've got plenty of energy. We've got backup energy if we if we lose out on anything, but we're not. We've got plenty. We've got abundance around the world, but we've been told we've got lack for you to worry and for you to believe that you're in a universe and a world of poverty and lack. This keeps you um, holding you back with your mindset from prosperity and abundance and going into the high frequencies and levels of higher frequencies than lack and poverty is. It keeps you down, it keeps you in poverty, it keeps you poor, it keeps you depressed and thinking that um, life is just about surviving and living a mediocre life. Well, that's not true. This world, this universe, this energy we all around is full of abundance. It's full of wealth. It's full of health. It's full of everything. It's got to be because the creator has created abundance and prosperity in the world and the planet. Everything God has created is good, is plenty is more than enough, is abundance. God would not create lack and poverty and struggle on this earth. He creates goodness, oneness for everybody, not just for me or the rich or the government. It's for everybody. It's for you. It's for me. It's for us to tune into and to have faith and believe and to change your thoughts and change the way you think. When someone's thinking there's lack and disaster and war and poverty, you don't think like that. You think that this planet is good, it's prosperity, there's plenty of good people, we're helping people, there's plenty of food to go around and health and happiness. You can think on a different frequency it's up to you. You've got free will. It's up to you to decide to not conform to the patterns of the world, but transform your mind. Jesus came and says, I come into this world to give you life so you have it in abundantly. In other words, he came into life to tell us about the abundance God has given us, the prosperity, the goodness around us, everything we've got, water, beauty, plants, money, gold, all the materials, all the metals and knowledge as well. God has given us knowledge to make prosperity and wealth in this world 
That's what he's given us. He wants us to live everybody in prosperity. But we get told different to keep us in line and to keep us down and to keep us worrying. But no, change the way you're thinking. Change the way your thoughts are and tune into prosperity and abundance because that's where God is. God is abundance. God is love. God is good. God loves you. You are one of his children. He doesn't want you to suffer. He doesn't want you to be in poverty and have no money and worry about your gas bills. He provides everything for you. It's already there. Just tune into it and ignore the chitter chatter and the lies what are going off just to scare you. It's a fear, just to put fear into you. Fear really does upset your subconscious mind and stops you from thinking. No, there's more than enough in this world. A little story from the Bible is when Peter and his disciples went out fishing. And his disciples said to, to Peter, Peter, we've not found any fish today. There's no fish in the water. Let's go back home to the shore. Peter agreed and was a bit upset that they were going back with no fish to feed uh, the family and to feed the village. The nets were completely empty and they were all down and miserable and um, didn't know what to do about it. As they were going back, they saw a figure on the shore. They didn't know this was Jesus. Jesus shouted to him, cash your nets to the other side of the boat and you will find all the fish you ever need. So they cast the nets to the other side of the boat and as they pulled the net in, they were plenty of fish, more than enough fish in the net. In fact, there were that many fish that the weight of the net nearly sank the boat. They were so much fish that they could feed all the village and feed their family much more than enough. Jesus didn't say you will get a few fish just to survive or a few fish just to feed your family. He gave much more than they could have. So they were plenty, abundance. And that is what we have. We have abundance in life. Don't listen to the lies, what's going off at the moment. Don't get depressed. Tune into that frequency. Change your mindset. Change your thoughts. And come into the energy and level of prosperity and abundance. Because that way is God and that's where his energy is. Have faith. Tune into it. Meditate it. Visualise abundance that you've already got it and visualise prosperity that you've already got it and come to that level. Do not listen to the lies. As the Bible says, do not conform to the patterns of the world, but renew your mind. In other words, don't listen to the lies, what's going off about all the gas bills and the electric bills and you can't afford this and your money's going to be scarce. Don't listen to it. Don't buy into it. It's up to you what you think. You can think depressed and negative or you can think positive. God's give you free will. I would suggest you think positive and more abundant and prosperity and that will um, arrive in your reality and that's the world you will live in you live in a world of prosperity not lack and and poor and poverty no live in a world of prosperity remember take care of each other bye bye